Jeannie Buss said oh, in the, Christ. Yeah. Then it said in an interview with the athletic, Russell Westbrook was the Lakers' best player last season. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah. She eventually walked it back and said that the word that she should have used was consistent. And she said it's really tough to win when Anthony Davis isn't on the court and LeBron was actually hurt a lot of the season. But Russ showed up every game and played as hard as he could every night. Yeah. Is she actually backing Russ or is she trying to increase his trade value? Uh, listen, with Jeannie Buss, you never know. <laughs> I honestly don't know what she's doing. I the, the, There is no universe where here's what Russell Westbrook was for the Lakers. He was the most available player. He was at and played 80 games. He was the most available player. Does available not fall hand in hand with like consistent? Well, con listen, if you and I, I'm using this just simply as a metaphor because you are not late for work. You are great at this. Uh -huh. But if you were late for work every single day, right. that is consistent. Yeah, You are consistently late. So in this regard, Russ was consistent. He was consistently terrible. Okay. <laughs> Every night you knew it, Russ was going to show up, play 30 plus minutes and be bad. Okay. So I don't think that's what she was meaning though. And when she, calling him their like, best oh, he player, was here. he was here <laughs> and bad. He Call, calling him their best player is an absurdity. Le, LeBron was sensational last year. Yeah. LeBron was 38 and 6 on better than 50% from the field. Look, now he missed 20 games. He missed a quarter of the season. That's a problem. Right. And that's why LeBron wasn't the best forward or the if LeBron had put up those numbers and played 75 oh. games, he would have been the second best forward in the league last year behind Giannis. Right. It would have been Giannis and LeBron because he did miss those games. One could argue Tatum was better. Some are, you know, Durant missed a bunch of games too. Durant's numbers were similar. Right. You like because he missed those games, that's why you knock him down a pick. But Russ was below. Russ was a hindrance to winning when he was on the court. Yeah. You would have been better off with just a random bench player. And so, <laughs> Dude, the, what? Last year, I'm not that's saying that's who he's going to be for the rest of his career. Right. But that's what he was last year. Yeah. That is what he was. It didn't fit. It didn't work. He also seemed to get worse at the things that he hadn't been good at before. Like his, I mean, some of it, I mean, there's a long highlight reel of this, obviously. Of the, the Go ahead. board stuff? Yes. Yeah. I mean, he was turnovers. missing shots by four feet. Yeah. And, and the, no, I think he got it in his own head. I think that was a problem for him. Like, I don't think Russ is done as an NBA player. I'm not arguing that. But it shouldn't be debatable what he was last year. So why would Jeannie Buss say this? either because she's being irrational or because they are trying to find a way to build up his trade value a bit. Now, I don't think Jeannie Buss's quotes build up much. Go ahead. What do you think? I think it's like, hey, man, he's going to be here next year. Might as well give him a little bit of confidence, you know? He like, can't kinda... be there next year. They can't actually be. They have to. I mean, you're speaking from like an emotional standpoint, I feel like. I th to a degree, yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to be there next year. You think year. he's going to be there all year? I mean. I don't. I, I, you, you, you'll just be punting on this season. <laughs> you just, you can't yeah. win. Now, if Russ would. But it all depends on how the start of the season goes. Like, all the, I feel like the only knowledge that we have is of what Russ did last year. That's fair. We have no idea how I feel like these players are going to mesh this coming year, what they've done during the offseason, but. No, that's fair. I just don't, Russ doesn't seem like he's going to change. And Russ needs to be on a team that he is the focal point of, that he has the ball in his hands. Because when when he is that, you get the good of him. Yeah. The good of him is the energy, the intensity, he, he, the freedom for him to drive to the basket. Definitely have a point and there. you still deal with the bad, but at least you get the good. When Russ is your third option, you get the bad. The lackadaisical defense, the lack of spacing, all that stuff, without the good. Right. And that was the problem, which is why I argued all year, have him be the super sixth man. Lead the bench unit. When you take AD and LeBron out, put Russ yeah, in and, with and let guys. him run with uh, it, that, I thought, but he didn't want to do that. We'll see what Darvin Ham can do. Also, we'll probably see Russ in Indiana. In I don't think Indiana. he'll play for the Lakers.
Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.